morning guys I just wanted to get a shot of my hair in the morning because I'm actually really liking the way it looks right now because um, I curled it yesterday and so today the curls are more relaxed which I actually like a lot better and since I didn't wash it it isn't as frizzy as it was yesterday so the hairs are kind of just laying a little smoother so I don't know it's really cool I'm just so glad I started washing my hair less often because I was one of those people who had to wash their hair every single day because even by the evening my hair was getting super oily but the reason it's getting so oily is because you're washing it so much so if you're one of those people who are like no like I have to wash it every day you don't you have to just train your hair it takes a while for it to adjust which kind of sucks but like this is day three hair technically and it looks pretty much shower fresh I mean I did use the cornstarch yesterday which is why it helps it look so good on day three but you gotta take the plunge, guys. It's so worth it. Also, I'm wearing my new rubber boots because it's supposed to rain today. Oh, yes. So, Christian was about to leave for work just now, and he was like, hey, where's my umbrella? And I was like, oh, you better not have left it at Staples because I left Staples before he did. I remember he set the umbrella on the shelf. It's probably even in yesterday's video. I'm not sure, but I remember him setting the umbrella on the shelf while he was looking at binders. And he probably left it there because it's not here. And that was actually not his umbrella. That was my umbrella. And it was a nice one too. And now I'm kind of like sad about it. I don't know if he's going to check Staples to see if it's still there. But he's the one who has to deal with the consequences, I guess, because he has to walk outside a lot. And so he's just going to get really wet. But I'm still sad because that was my umbrella. And <laughs> it was pretty nice. I, mean, I have a different one, but it's, um, it's breaking and so that black one was my only other umbrella. I mean, I do have a Hello Kitty one, but it's really, really small. And uh, it just doesn't, it's not very travel friendly because the one I have right now fits inside my purse. And so, I don't know, I'm really hoping we didn't lose that umbrella because it was really nice. What I just remembered is I actually bought that umbrella before I moved to Vancouver because I was like, oh, it rains a lot there, I should buy an umbrella. But then Christian's mom ended up buying me one, which is the purple one I carry around with me all the time now. So I barely even got a chance to use the black one because the purple one was just a bit more compact, fit in my purse a lot nicer. So that's why I've been using it. And then there's my nice black one that I barely got to use. <laughs> I don't know. I get I get upset about these kind of things. I'm not like that upset, but my mind does tend to worry about it a little bit, at least initially. Just like, I lost a thing. I will never see it again. Oh my god, no. They only have the DVD, not the Blu-ray. It's sold out. Wait, I found more. I knew they had to have a display somewhere. <laughs> so, I got back to my apartment, checked the mail, and I had a, del a parcel delivery notice. And it's apparently from yesterday, even though I checked the mail when I got home. But maybe it was put in my mailbox later. I don't know. but. Anyway, so I'm going to go pick it up, and I'm pretty certain it is those pendants I ordered from that Chinese website because I checked the tracking last night, and it said they had an, they didn't attempt a delivery yesterday, so I'm pretty certain that's what it is. The only other thing I'm waiting on is a tote bag from Society6, so that has now shipped, so I'm hoping it comes before I move. Otherwise, I might not get it. I'll just have to like, walk to the post office and be like, so... I moved. Do you have my package? But anyways, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just excited to get this package. Although, geez, it's already like 6.30. Usually I'm home at 6. It's already 6.30. I'm not even going to be starting supper till Christian gets back, pretty much. So you guys know how I used to do those transitions. If I was about to leave for work or start a live stream or something, I'd say like, oh, I'm going to go to work now. See you guys on the flip side. And then I'd flip my camera over and do a cool transition. Well, I forgot about those, and then someone reminded me about them in the comments, and so I filmed two of those this week, well, like, within the last week, and I never got to use them either time because I didn't go straight home until the transition didn't work. Although I technically could do it anywhere as long as the background was roughly white, but yeah, it just didn't work out. Ugh, I feel so hot in here compared to outside. I have to take my vest off for a little bit. Oh man, okay, so Christian should be home in like 10 to 15 minutes. Oh god, I can't do this with the camera in my hand. So 
still gotta start cooking supper right away. But it looks like the package was the one from China. I'm a little curious to see which colors I received because I ordered two different colors for the pendants. Like you can get silver, rhodium, bronze. I think I got rhodium and antique bronze. But then I was trying to see if the item had shipped yet. And so I go to the website, it's that AliExpress website. And I noticed there were two messages from the sellers from a few days previous. And this is what annoys me is the website should have emailed me if the seller was trying to contact me. So that was the website's fault, not the seller's fault. And the seller was saying like, oh, we're sold out of this color. Is there a different one you want? And then he messaged me the next day or he or she messaged me the next day being like, would you be okay with this color or what about this one? And I didn't see either of those messages because I didn't get an email. I felt so bad, but the item had already shipped by the time I saw that. So I felt a little bad about that. But it was the website's fault for not emailing me, but it was also the seller's fault for listing an item as in stock when it's not in stock. So it was kind of both their faults. So I'm curious to see what colors I get. I just hope I didn't get silver because silver's okay because the rhodium or whatever it was called is kind of like a dull silver and then the silver is super vibrant, bright silver and it was just too, ugh, it just looked a little tacky. So I wanted the more kind of antique looking one so I don't know I'm curious to see what they got me so I was at Superstore and I finally got my hands on some more razor blades so I don't have to be Sasquatch Bailey anymore but I just realized something I thought this okay because usually they have these thingies which sometimes it's a better deal to buy it even though it comes with a handle but I was duped it says four blades so I thought it came with four blades but it means there's four blades on each one it actually comes with two blades one handle and a suction cup thingy. I thought I was getting four. So that probably was not really worth it this time. Sometimes though, it is worth it to buy these packs, but I guess not this time. And it was on sale even, so that's good at least. But I thought I was getting four. So I'm gonna have to buy more soon. So also at Superstore, as you saw, I got the Frozen Blu-ray DVD and digital copy combo pack. Wait, what a minute, I bought two. Now, why would I do that? Hmm. But the reason I bought the Frozen Blu-rays the first day they were released is not just because I wanted to own it right away, it's because they're always on sale for the first week that they're released. And I was considering pre-ordering from the Disney store because I did that with Wreck-It Ralph, but you don't, get a, you don't get a sale price. You end up paying full price, but they give you a $10 off coupon for your next visit at the Disney store, but you have to use it up within a certain time. So I was like, uh, this time I'm just going to try to go with Superstore because I know they always have the cheapest price. And sure enough, when I went there, they had a price match for $22. And for Blu-ray, that's a really good price. So I scored. And I decided to get two because of reasons. I still feel like a sweaty mess. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got in here. Oh man, these are really wrapped tight. I'm going to have to use two hands for this. Looks like I got the silver. That's what these look like. So, I don't know. I guess that's okay. They're not too bad looking. Christian, the backstory is they actually were sold out of one color, but it was listed as being in stock, so I ordered it. And then they're like, oh, we're out of stock, but I didn't get an email notifying me that the seller was trying to contact me. So I saw the message after it had already shipped because they were offering me other color choices. And um, looks like they went with silver because mine I ordered a color that's sort of like it looks like an antique silver because these are just really really bright which I mean they're still okay here's some of the clear covers hopefully they're not all scratching each other and this looks like the other color yeah this is the bronze antique bronze I wish they would have given me antique silver like they offered initially, but oh well. So I really like this color a lot better than this one. Like you get what I mean by this is just super bright, kind of meh, but whatever. It, it'll look good. Depends what kind of color scheme the artwork is on the inside. So they both have their merits, I suppose. So yeah, I have some this color, some of this color, 
the glass thingies, and then there's more inside here. Probably just another bag of glass pieces, and then more silvers, and more, oh wait, here we go. Oh, it's all glass pieces. Okay, so this is, I was going to say, this is a lot. So there's four packs of glass pieces, and then two packs of these. Cool, cool, cool. So, so far, these are not looking scratched, which is awesome, because they're all just thrown in together. That's what I was worried about when I ordered these. Um, it looks pretty clear, aside from my fingerprints getting all over it now. <laughs> and it just fits in here. And I'll have to figure out the best way to glue these in without ruining the artwork. Like I'm going to experiment with maybe some Mod Podge, maybe some other types of glues and see what is best because there's going to be, I'm thinking of doing all original artwork for these, maybe some printed duplicates, but I think it'd be really cool instead of just mass producing like I do with my buttons, make original pieces of art, like one of a kind original in each one. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Some of them might have duplicates, but they would all be hand-drawn, so they'd all still be unique, even if I drew the same design. I just mean I'm not going to print off multiple copies. They'll all be original artworks. All right, so I'm going to do a little overview of the Frozen Blu-ray. So it comes with a sleeve. Pretty much the same artwork, just different border. And this is embossed as well. I don't know if you can see that and this is in French and English DVD and Blu-ray and digital copy I'm actually kind of excited to watch this in French just to change it up congratulations oh okay a little booklet buy the soundtrack <gasps> get the soundtrack for seven dollars oh but that's not the deluxe edition Okay, here's the movies, cool, cool, and then DVD and Blu-ray, pretty simple. And just a quick shot of the back. Yay, frozen Blu-ray, yay! The last thing to do is to peel off the stickers because they make it look ugly. There we go, much better. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it just came up as I started filming. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to call it a night, guys, so I will see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I got to H&R Block a little early, so I decided to go to Staples to get some locks for our storage lockers. And who did I run into? Yeah. Christian. Neither of us have ever been to this Staples before, and we somehow ran into each other here. That is really weird. Oh, that looks so fancy. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Does this mean I'll finally get my notebook back? <laughs> <laughs>